Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math or lumped algebra problem. So here we have 4 to the power of x equals to x to the power of 64 and we will solve this problem for the values of x. So here we uh, need to move all the variable terms in the right hand side and we move the constant term in the left hand side. Uh, so here first we need to move this x in the right hand side. So in order to eliminate this x from left hand side we need to take the x root on both of the sides so it will be written as 4 to the power of x and its whole power is 1 over x equals to x to the power of 64 and its whole power is 1 over x so now in the next step uh, we need more simplifications here we know that about this exponent life you have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n according to this exponent law we need to multiply these exponents here and it will be written as 4 to the power of x multiplied by 1 over x equals to x to the power of 64 multiplied by 1 over x so here you see that this x and x are cancelled out by each other and we will get here 4 equals to this is x to the power of uh, here according to this law if you have uh, the product of two numbers we move one number inside the term so we write here here we move this 1 over x inside the term and it will be written as x to the power of 1 over x and its whole power is 64. So here uh, we move our variable term in the right hand side and now uh, we move our constant term in the left hand side so that we, move, we eliminate the 64 from right hand side. So in order to eliminate the 64 from right hand side we need to take the 64th root on both of the sides or in other words we will take the power 1 over 64 on both of the sides uh, so it will be written as uh, x to the power of 1 over x and its whole power 64 and its whole power is 1 over 64 so here you see that these two exponents are multiplied by each other and this 64 is cancelled out by this 64 and we will obtain here 4 to the power of 1 over 64 equals to x to the power of 1 over x. So because we solve this problem for the values of x so here you see that in the right hand side uh, we have the exponent of this term is the reciprocal of its base. So we make this type of conditions in the left hand side here you make the exponent of this term be the reciprocal of this base okay so for this uh, we need to multiply and divide the exponent of this term by 4 so it will be written as 4 to the power of 4 divided by 4 multiplied by 1 over 64 and it is equals to x to the power of 1 over x so here uh, we will move this 4 inside the term and it will be written as 4 to the power of 4 and it is 1 over this 4 is multiplied by 64 we write it as 1 over 4 multiplied by 64 equals to x to the power of 1 over x so here you see that uh, 4 to the power 4 means that we first we will multiply this 4 with 64 so here you have 4 4 is 16 we write 6 and carry 1 4 6 are 24 24 plus 1 becomes 25 so 4 times of 64 equals to 256 and 4 to the power of 4 means that we need to multiply this 4 with the 4 times and here we have this is 4 4 is 16 and 16 fours are 64 64 fours are 256 it means that 4 to the power of 4 equals to 256 so now we replace uh, these two values to the above equation so uh, after replacing these two values in the above equation we will write our above uh, equation as in this form uh, so this implies that 4 to the power of 4 equals to 256 to the power of 1 over 256 equals to x to the power of 1 over x okay 
now here uh, we need to compare both of the sides so if you compare its bases then you easily get the value of x equals to 256 and when we compare its uh, exponents then you get 1 over x equals to 1 over 256 so from both of these cases you get the same value of x and that is x equals to 256 so this is the final answer of this question this is the final value of x so now here uh, in the next step we need to uh, verify this value of x so for uh, verification uh, we need to copy down the given question statement here so the given question statement is 4 to the power of x equals to x to the power of 64 this is our given question statement and now we uh, place the value of x on both of the sides so here we put x equals to 256 on both of the sides of this equation so when we put uh, this x equals to 256 equals to 256 to the power of 64 so here uh, if this x be the solution of the given equation then it should must be satisfied this equation so uh, the value of this x satisfied of this equation means that we get both of the sides have same answers okay so in order to make both of the sides same uh, so first you see here uh, our base is 256 so now we need to make this base is 256 so first we break this uh, 256 as we write this term as 4 multiplied by 64 here uh, you see that in the above steps we get the multiplication of 4 by 64 equals to 256 so we break 256 in this way okay uh, so we replace this 256 equals to 4 times of 64 and here we check that is this equals to 256 to the power of 64 so here we uh, need the exponent law you know if we have a to the power of m multiplied by n equals to we write this type of expression as a to the power of m to the power of n according to this exponent law here we move this 4 inside the term and it will be written as 4 to the power of 4 and its exponent is 64 and we claim that is this equals to 256 to the power of 64 or not okay so again uh, you move backward and you see here uh, 4 to the power of 4 means that we need to multiply 4 with 4 times and when you multiply 4 with 4 times we easily get it, it is equals to 256. So it means that uh, 4 to the power of 4 equals to 256 to the power of 64 equals to 256 to the power of 64 so here you clearly see that left hand side equals to right hand side this shows that the value of x satisfied the given question statement this is the final answer thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos